Yo guys, for today's video we have a Fiora matchup, so I will give you really quickly before you get into it so you can observe them, the few tricks you can use versus Fiora. First, it's a lot about her W, and often a Fiora player is going to use his W the same way throughout the game. You have some Fiora players who use it just for poke, you have some of them who use it at, like when you all in at the beginning of the trade to debuff your attack speed, you have some of them that use it at the very last moment to try to clutch you, uh that's that's what i'm facing in this game so observe the first few w's that they use and this way it's actually very predictable and you can like for example dash and you don't even auto you cancel your auto and then you start moving second trick is buy anti-healing it can help you can buy it early it's fine uh, and the third trick it's about her vitals she has a rotation she actually has a vitals rotation it's either north uh east or southwest so it's basically yeah top right or, or bottom left uh, it's it's either good or bad you can see it this way it's either a good vital bad vital good vital bad vital and 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 it goes in the cycle um yeah that's 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 pretty much what you need to know about your matchup and then it's about like moving and spacing etc and playing uh, around your spikes and fundamentals as always and also we have a driven mid this game uh yeah, just just witness the power of of Draven mid. It can it can be it can be pretty strong. Anyway, guys, hope you will enjoy the content. I will see you well, not at the end of it, but during the video. Much love, guys. See ya. Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Playing on the Smurf right now, I'm facing. Fiora. Uh, I've only faced a couple of Fioras since I stopped banning her because I used to ban her last season. Because we had the whole whole breaker rush grasp uh proc strategy versus Malphite and Jax, etc. Anyway, so let's see. Let's start with bot lane. We have MF Seraphin into Caitlyn Nami. Uh well. I guess Caitlyn Nami is gonna have the Pryo Perma because Caitlyn Perma has Pryo in most matchups. Seraphine later though will be able to uh, compensate for that, but early on my bot lane is most likely pretty shit. They have double exhaust as well. What is this man? Yeah, I just pray for bot and, and let them scale up. And then later they have a pretty good, like at level 6, basically. Basically, I'm playing my bot lane is playing for level 6 uh, synergy. We also have Seraphine as our solo AP champion. So, legit play for bot lane because it can go really wrong. Now, mid lane, we have a Draven with Hail of Blades. I am actually fine with that pick. The guy has good Draven mastery. Uh, he's into Corky, so Corky is gonna scale on Draven pretty hard also because he's gonna outrange and just like poke him out. But early on Draven of course has way more damage and way more pressure, so if I was Zin, I would look to put my Draven ahead and snowball the game from, from mid. Uh, jungle it's Kiana versus Xin, so... I don't know much about Kiana jungle. I guess I guess she's decent. I guess she doesn't have the best clear. She is decent at ganking, but not the strongest. The strongest early on. I mean, I mean, she has hard CC and, and gap close, so I guess I guess it's fine. And later at level six, like an assassin. Can she assassinate us? Yes. I don't know. It's not. It's not looking too good this game. Um. But probably the Xin ult is good into her. And I would try to just win my top. And be a win condition by myself. That could be a nice thing to play for. Plus she has TP so I can afford to go blade. It's gonna have a good vital. Yeah, I wanted to bait her into to going for it. I am your worst okay, Mr. Kovos, yes. Okay, 
Okay, you got him down. So it means that she's here, the Kiana, and she's going towards bot side. Ah, if my E hit would have been a very fine trade. Kenneth bot now. If I was in I would just base and and go play for top scatter. He has been prior though, so maybe he can play up this. Sure, it's moving there. I, I thought Kiana was gonna kite into topside and I would have to cut her. That's why I ghosted. If I get the crash on that wave, I'm fine. I think I can because my wave is so big. I didn't rescue. I didn't think Kiana would like legit turn straight back into the top. Sin is able to cover for this and get grabs actually. So it ends up being pretty good. Okay, well, Xin is gonna be a pretty big win condition. My bot lane didn't lose like any plates or anything to Caitlyn, so that's good. Also, they're scaling. I could pay the tax. I have the gold for it. I could also have bought the gold, but probably wouldn't spike. And still look to be dominant. Because sure, probably wins the scanning in the 1v1, so it's not what I want to play for. Raven is not getting enabled. Oh, he chilled it. Nice. I take this as my win. She doesn't have TP, so I would actually threaten to hard push this and play for plating because we have three void grabs. And because also if I go for a soul push, I don't think I can straight up diver or anything. Okay, let's go. The autos should do the work. Just 
just Tiamat, so she's gonna push the wave naturally. good for me. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, I had to keep my auto. I, I, I knew she was gonna parry, of course, at some point, so I tried to bait the parry and dodge it. She used it at the very last moment, so I just saved my auto. Okay, get level 6. Deep of AD. Or level 8, rather. Okay, good enough, good enough. Good enough. Thank you. you. can base and play those. Yes, Hydra. Ooh, nice dodge by Caitlyn, but she cannot dodge that. Okay, my bot lane is doing a really good job. Uh, he doesn't want to play for grabs, I'm surprised. Hopefully she, he doesn't just get camps, you know, and plays for Drake then. We need, to, we need to end up playing for these. Uh, here, here, here. Ready fly. <laughs> okay. Please, Din. Din, just, just play those. Hello, hello. Don't do... Yeah. Nice. Finally. Yeah, but now we're late. No shit. Finally, we get them. I think Fira has TP back up, so I'm not gonna greet. She doesn't. I'm still not gonna greet. Okay, she does. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, Draven should be able to. Get some action going. Oh, that should never happen though. No, it's not an MF.
I just take the bone plating for now. Drop pot. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Prio for Heralds and then base for Kraken. Just pushing every wave in so she doesn't even get to drop vision or anything. Navi might move. But he most likely gets one shot. Okay, we're a bit late on Raven. Can I stop? We saw her. Name is bot. We win. We win that three v three. Then it just takes so strong, and I'm also stronger than. Yara. Corky just TP'd, so they don't have that prior. We're gonna base now. Why don't I have the fast recall? Because I base before it's dead? Maybe. It's okay. Plates are gone, so doesn't get plates here. I lose a bit of XP, but now I come and she cannot stay and she has no TP. And if she's out, well, I can just... Yeah, again, I know that she was going to parry, so I just walk through it. So I don't have to ult, and now I get T1. Uh, we need Draven ult. They're fighting bot. If I don't value that second rake too much, I can actually just play to empty the jungle. What is he doing? <laughs> What's Maxine doing? Uh, I'm playing for Navari. How much gold do I need? If I'm playing for Navari. Oh shit. Shut down. Item sets.
chest. And I don't get me the no. Uh, but they can get skinsus. Hmm. I'll probably do that. Oh, okay. And it all started with like Zinzao just heralding to here. Now we're gonna give him them the game back. Okay. Well, it's a it's a rich blade spike then. Yeah, I had to wait my old for quite a bit. I didn't... I, 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 didn't, I didn't notice that Corky was on the package timer. Also, I thought we had Xin on the flank that uh, could go there. When I first ghosted... It's okay. I mean, if I base now, I'll be back on the map at the same time as Draven and Seraphine. And also have something to purchase and... I can go bot. Uh, I stone side with my prio move. Ah, uh, don't like this. Okay, maybe I do like this. I don't. The good thing is, nah, no. I'm going there. I mean, hopefully they win the. Yeah, like, that's that's just bad. We can sink just for once. Okay, I mean, I'm actually fine with this. I ulted kind of for nothing, but also because I had no vision and I was concerned that yeah, they would be in that bush already. But if I get Kiana flash and ult, should be fine with it. Shit. And there's Draven Old coming. Such.
Okay, I guess we're kind of perma fighting. But the thing is, we don't have our ults, right? We don't have our ults for Drake. Driven's going top. Okay, just need to wait a bit before we do some action. Up. Should have flashed already. I thought my E was gonna come back. That's a lot of our damage. What the fuck? Okay, it's all points, but it doesn't matter that much. Um. <laughs> Gets into heal. Yeah, yeah, we can kill Gates. Dragon has no life steal. Yo, yo, but ult, ult, but, but Seraphin. Sarah R. Let's shoot them. Like, we know where she is. If she's in this, it means that she's in her zone. So you just ult in the zone. And GG. Now Draven's gonna die to Fiora or he's gonna kill? Okay, he kills. It hasn't pushed. Your team has destroyed turret. We have Seraphine and MF ult, so on paper we're strong right now. Wait. Can I stay it? Can I stay it? Don't have a wave mid. Okay, now we beat this again. Shop mechanics. <laughs> K 
The UK Driven made this full items. Uh, he could have went for that T2. It's okay though to wait us. We have a solid 1-3-1. One, one, three, one. Okay, they just need to wait. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna end after 28 minutes, just Draven 1v2s them. And then I can just end the game. Oh, nice. Okay, well, Draven made, I guess. I said I said I was gonna get outscaled by Corky, but not. <laughs> what are these items? Collector, Lord Dumps, okay we know those. Dashes and stealth stack energized it doesn't have stashes nor stealth. Energized attack wait wait, we need to read that. Uh hop. Um, this stack energy is faster energy is to bullet physical damage and slow enemies. But what are these energized attacks? Can lethality outside of combat? Can move speed after killing champion? I don't get it. This is empowered auto with Q considered an energized attack. Oh, and and those stealth count bushes. Like if you're in the bush, then you are stealth. So you have to so stack energized faster. But what's energized? Is it Hell of Blades? Is it his Q? Or does he just not have it and just like a good item? 55 AD, 18 lethality. 55 AD, 18 lethality. Can lethality outside of combat? Can move speed after killing champion? I have no crewman. But that was a lot of damage for heads. He had so much lethality actually. That's why he one shots, he completely one shots Caitlyn. Okay, well, I might keep it. We had some pretty good interactions with the Fiora on how to beat the Fiora matchup. We played the objectives decently. Uh, we had a game with potential comebacks. I think, in terms of gold, they kind of came back at some point. Maybe not. Yeah, like, like. At this point, they were like only 3k gold down. And also, it's pretty fun to have like some uh, Draven mid action. Maybe you guys can explain to me uh, in the comments what actually happens with Draven's build. I have, I have no idea. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching it so far. Um, next video is going to be tomorrow. Same time, same place. Well, see you when you see me then, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and have fun in game and in real life. We'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Much love. Bye bye. Big hits. Ooh, ooh, ooh.